Greetings fellow Whovians and welcome to Timey Wimey Review and welcome to another Rumour Roundup where I look at some of the rumours and gossip that is taking place in the world of Doctor Who. But first, please hit the subscribe button for more content and notification, that'll be very much appreciated. So, breaking news over the last 24 hours is that the cast and crew have been seen filming the latest series of Doctor Who in Liverpool. There have been multiple images on social media over the last 24 hours of some night shoots at Albert Docks showing the TARDIS, Jodie Whittaker and new cast member John Bishop. However, there have been several sources on Twitter stating that none other than Catherine Tate has been spotted in the same area, leading to speculation that she could be returning after 11 years away as Donna Noble in Doctor Who. Now, we have to take these rumours as a pinch of salt, as it's well reported that Catherine Tate and John Bishop are really, really good friends, and it's not like... Things like that hasn't happened before in Doctor Who and in other TV programmes where just celebrities just turn up for random shooting just to see what's going on backstage, really, just to be a little bit nosy. Having said all that, with it being the current pandemic, you would think those types of things will be kept to a minimum in terms of social distancing and having the minimum amount of people on the set and, and everything else that goes with it. So there could be a little bit of rumour, you know, there could be some truth to this rumour that we could be seeing Donna Noble back. I, for one, would love to see Catherine Tate back as Donna Noble in Doctor Who. I really, really liked her character. I thought Catherine Tate did a brilliant job as Donna Noble. And it's one of those kind of never say never moments, really. Anyone can really return in Doctor Who. How Donna Noble returns, I don't know. And again, it's just all speculation. You never know. It could even just be a cameo appearance or, you know, it could even be a one-off episode. You never know. But it could be absolutely nothing at all. And just Catherine Tate just being there just to say hello to John and the rest of the cast and crew. Let me know in the comments, would you like to see Catherine Tate back in Doctor Who on screen as Donna Noble? And also, where you would like to see Doctor Who be filmed, whether we're in your town, city, country, you name it. Let me know in the comments where you would like to see Doctor Who be filmed. Now, the other rumour doing the rounds in Doctor Who is that we know that the next season will comprise of eight episodes, but there's been quite a few rumours going around that it will be comprised of four two-part stories, something that we've seen similar to season nine of Doctor Who. Again, this is just speculation. Nothing has been confirmed, but I can see that happening given the current global situation. Again, minimum crew, minimum cast... So they might just want to flesh these stories out a bit longer, try and make them as two-parters, just to make the whole filming process a bit easier. I'll be fine if it was for two-part stories. To be honest, I'm just happy that there's going to be some new Doctor Who this year. But uh, I do like the two-part stories. It just fleshed them out a bit more. I do like a good cliffhanger as well. Personally, I thought Revolution of the Daleks could have done with it being a two-part story. I thought that they left quite a few bits out, really, in that story that really could have been explored and had a really good civil war as well with that and just just give that story more time i think i think it, it definitely deserved it but there's always that little worry that the story has been dragged on a bit too long uh, we have seen that uh, before in the past in modern and classic doctor who really where it could have been the story could have been shortened so we'll just have to see to be honest it's going to be a logistical nightmare just to film anything at this moment in time so i'll really appreciate that we are getting eight episodes of new doctor who whether it is going to be as two-parters or just standalone episodes let me know in the comments below what you think uh, it should be two-parters single ones or a mixture of both Finally, this is just more of an observation. Last week saw the Comic Relief Telethon on BBC One, which was presented in part by the 10th Doctor, David Tennant. And I just wanted to say that he did an amazing job presenting Comic Relief. He was serious, he was funny, he was energetic. I thought he just did a really, really good job presenting with uh, Lenny Henry. And I think Alicia Dickinson was there. And I think Davina McCall as well. I think she was in that uh, sort of slot. I think it was between 7 and 10 o'clock that David Tennant came bouncing around and stuff like that. Again, 
I just thought he did a really, really good job. And I just want to say thank you for David for basically making it entertaining. So if you haven't seen my uh, previous review of The Curse of the Fatal Death, do check that out. I've also put a link in there to donate to Comic Relief. So if you feel like you want to donate, uh, have a look in the description below in this video and The Curse of Fatal Death on how you can donate to that very worthy course. And that's my rumour roundup. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's rumours and would you like to see David Tennant return to present comic relief in the future? Next time on Timey Wimey Reviews, I will be reviewing the 11th Doctor episode, The Lodger. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel. And as the good doctor once said, I'll see you in the headlines.